Okay. Yeah. 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 So, uh, I thought we'd go ahead and, uh, and get started because it's already 12.30 and I know some of you have to get back. Um, let's see, introduction of guests. I know uh, Dick German, Rotary sent us by, so Dick, it's nice to have you. And uh, Kathy Kraus from uh, the Youth Service Bureau, thanks for, uh, thanks for coming. Is there anybody else that I have missed? Okay. Um, believe it or not, the Robertsville Country Club doesn't have an American flag. Wow. I think I know what we can do as a as an appreciation of it. So um, that's something that should be here. So if you'll face the pin on my lapel, <laughs> let's do the, uh, the Pledge of Allegiance, all right? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands. One nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And uh, Carolyn, I believe you have our invitation. I do. Let us pray. I think we're all excited to be out and about this at this time. We've been cooped up for so long. May we count our blessings every day. Let us be mindful of our commitment to the community and the children of the world. Be with the officers being installed today as they start their one-year journey of service. Bless this food to the nourishment of our bodies. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Um, I don't really have any announcements, but we do have a new member to, uh, to introduce um, and to induct into the club, um, Mitch uh, Mitchell. Um, come on up to the front. Andrew, can you do the honors for us?
Are you ready to make a difference? Okay. If uh, the present the membership certificate and the PIN permit. And I think Andrew already explained to you what's in the folder, so let's give a big <coughs> round of applause. Finally, Dr. Scott Feller, the new president of Lawrence College. 
The board of directors have been meeting virtually since the beginning of April. And we've been able to keep things together to keep the club moving forward. The nominating committee uh, developed a slate of candidates and officers, uh, board members, for the 2020-2021 year, uh, which begins on October 1st. Elections were held on January, or July 9th, and the slate was elected unanimously. And just like that, my year as the pandemic president will come to an end when Gary becomes president today with our, with our lieutenant governor presiding over the installation. Last month, I sent a letter uh, to all of you requesting a special favor that if you were able to please make a special contribution to the club in the amount of the tickets that you would have sold um, for Pancake Day. And many of you responded. It didn't amount to as much as it would have had, as it would have if we had held Pancake Day, but every little bit helps. And so my heartfelt thanks to each of you. You know who you are. Sharon told me before the meeting that our total, um, but our total intake for Pancake Day so far is just a little under thirty-six hundred dollars. And uh, so thanks for everything that you have done. Finally, it's been my honor and privilege to serve as president of the Robertsville Kiwanis Club this year. I think back to my parents' involvement in leadership of this club decades ago and hope that I've lived up to their example and your expectations of my leadership. I'll be on the board for the upcoming year. My biggest responsibility will be as program chair for the year, so you can expect to hear from me to uh, help line up speakers for the, uh, the balance of the year. Thanks now in advance to Matt Petty, um, Jim McCampbell, and Dave Long, who have already volunteered. That's three months down and only nine to go. <laughs> I've enjoyed my year as president of our clubs. When Matt asked me to become a board member four, five, six years ago, whenever it was, I can't remember, I had no idea it would lead to have the president. <laughs> uh, Thanks, Matt. But no regrets, other than we haven't been able to meet face to face for so long. It's great that you're all here today. Um, I can't wait until we can do it again on a regular basis. And we will, I promise. Morris? I think we all owe Jerry a great debt of credit to for keeping the ship afloat during the last six months. He does a remarkable job. to the success of this club down through the years and, and our integral uh, parts of the, the membership um, and really are, I think, great examples of what a Kiwanis member can and should be. And so, guys, thanks for uh, your service uh, for these last years. We have a small gift for each of you. So Dave and Jim, if you would come up. Yeah, very small. Very small. <laughs> These are not virtual gifts. I can realize. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Barbara Clipper with the appreciation of the club. Thanks, guys. Thank okay. you. Speech, speech. Those bags, show up the bags because if you go to the. Uh, Davis is fair. I made 50 of the fall bags. You too can have a bag. <laughs> That's what they look like. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Jim just reminded me. You know, I stepped out. I was done as of yesterday. But we haven't done Happy Bucks yet. And we've got a chance to do Happy Bucks face to face for the first time in, in a long, long time. So is anybody happy? I see Jim holding yeah, up. And actually be able to put money on the table and, and give it instead of saying, I got happy bucks and then it never gets there. Yeah. Anyways, I'm happy for our new member and I'm happy that after I think eight years I finally off the board. <laughs> <laughs> well Jeff I'm happy because uh Jerry and Kenny uh, just told me a minute ago that she's got an old license plate out in her car that she'll <laughs> give me. And, uh, I've been collecting old license plates since 1943. Anybody 
Anybody else? All right. I'm I'm happy that we're meeting uh, in person. Mike Lauder, Eric. Happy that I am starting a new job at Boeing Beer. Oh, I should say it right or else I'm going to fire you before I start. <laughs> Boeing, Bennett, and Clary in Lafayette at the end of the month, and I am happy that my replacement is sitting in the room with Ross Eggers' office. Because he's going to do a fantastic job in that role. All right. Great. Who else? Matt? I apologize for being late. Uh, I planned to be here earlier, but uh, what I'm happy about is that my wife and I got to sit in on the purchase of our granddaughter's new home this morning. So we were excited about that. That's her first step into real adulthood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have twenty dollars. My husband and I celebrated our forty-eighth anniversary wedding anniversary yesterday. I'm happy. I still have more than a happy dollar. I got a five. So here's to Mitch, our new member. Hear it for our new member and to see such a great group here today. It's just fantastic to have everybody here together finally. <coughs> Well, I'm, I'm going to put 20 in, too, because I haven't put any in for a long time. So, uh, that's good. But I'm taking the whole month of, the uh, rest of the month of October off, and we're going to travel to the southwest. So I'm cool. happy about that. I want to get a picture of this group from up here, just so I have something to remember. Yeah. Not that I wouldn't remember anyway. Everybody smile. Cheese. Say boogers. You got the film in there, Jerry? Yes. <laughs> Advance the role. <laughs> yeah. I'll throw a $10 bill in just because it's great to see you all here face to face. And I really do hope that we can get back to meeting face to face on a regular basis. I talked to the library earlier in the week. Um, and uh, their public spaces are still closed and will remain so through the end of October. Um, but uh, I think they're kind of waiting for to see what happens as a result of the schools reopening. And if there isn't any big bump in numbers or anything like that, uh, I'm hopeful that they would, uh, their board would uh, move towards uh, opening the public meeting spaces and we would be able to get back together and, uh, and meet them. So, um, let's see. I guess we're to uh, we're down to the actual installation of the officers. So, uh, Andrew, I'll turn it over to you.
Jacob Moore, please. As an officer of the club, you contribute your vision and ideas to the club's leadership team. In the absence of the president, you shall preside at club meetings and board of directors. I formally install you as vice president of this club. Caleb, you have been selected to lead your club during the following year. As you serve on the board this year, take advantage of opportunities to learn about the president's role, build relationships, and plan your year as president. Thank you for your leadership and dedication, and I hereby formally install you as president of the life. Thank you. Jerry, thank you. Before I go into this, thank you for your leadership this year. Thank you for your kind words, everything you said, all the leadership that you did through the, through the COVID. You handled it very well. I very much appreciate it. Jerry, your club benefits from your immediate past president, continuing for one more year as a board, as you mentioned earlier in your speech. Uh, your experience as club president this past year will empower you to be an essential mentor <laughs> and colleague for your successor and a valued advisor for the business of the club. Congratulations on your excellent work and dedicated service this past year, and we thank you for your continued dedication to your work. Garrett? Gary, you've been elected to the highest office your club can bestow upon you. It is an office of great honor and great responsibility. The success of your club in this new year will depend upon your leadership at club, board meetings, and as you counsel and inspire your club communities. In our community, you'll be the face of Kiwanis for your club. Guided by the club's vision, you and your board will set goals for improving your members' club experience and increasing the impact of your club services. Thank you for dedicating yourself to this leadership position. I hereby formally install you as the president of this club, and I sincerely hope your administrative year will exceed your expectations. Thank you, Gary. Thanks, Andrew. Uh, before we get going, or before I uh, talk a little bit, we do have a sign-up sheet for monthly speaker coordinator. And you did get another one filled, Jerry. Uh, uh, Andy took December because there's only three Thursdays. And <laughs> one, of them, one of them will be... Uh, I always take December. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> one will be a Santa Claus, so he's really only got two. Yeah. And then we've got the Invocator sign-up sheet. Terry Armstrong is handling that, uh, but I'd like to pass that around so everybody can sign up for these. I had five last year. And we'll get started, so yeah. <laughs> So thank you. Um, let's see, Jerry, what is she up here? Uh, okay. First, I want to thank uh, Andrew, our Lieutenant Governor, for attending today and for his guidance and assistance during this trying year. It's, uh, it was a little bit crazy and still is. Secondly, I want to thank the past presidents who I've worked with over my few years in Kiwanis. When I joined, I believe uh, Larry Parl Parlenberg was uh, just leaving, Elizabeth Justice took over, um, followed by Don Thompson, Jim McCampbell, and our media past president, Jerry Dreyer. I've learned from all of them and have used all of them as a sounding board for different ideas and thoughts regarding this club as I started to uh, butt my nose in everyone's business. Working closely with Jim and Jerry over the last few years, I've learned a lot about the workings of Kiwanis and what we can do and what we can't do. Most of all, they taught me what we can do, and I thank them for that. 
Jerry's been an inspiration in making it through this year as president when everything went to heck. He kept us cool and kept us going in the right direction, even though we didn't know what that direction was going to be every week. He taught us about Zoom, which I think uh, eight months ago, nine months ago, many of us, most of us, probably all of us, never even heard about. Uh, I joined this club 206 weeks ago, just two weeks short of four full years. Kiwanis is a service organization, and I wanted to find a way to help kids. Crawfordsville Kiwanis is a service club, and many of you have read or have heard the reason I joined, and in many cases, it's very similar to the reason that you joined, that you joined Kiwanis. During the past four years, I've seen this club serve children by providing scholarships, by supporting activities at the Youth Service Bureau, the Boys and Girls Clubs, by supporting the high school key clubs and Circle K at Wabash College, by supporting the work of Riley Hospital for Children, and numerous other activities serving youth. This was done through the service of all of you at the major fundraising events that we had, including Pancake Days, the annual holiday bazaars, and in the past, even Spaghetti Days, and travel and adventure programs. How many of you remember the travel and adventure programs? That was way before me, but I'm sure there's some of you that do, right? I've heard about them. In a few short months, we'll be celebrating somehow this club's 100th anniversary. A hundred years of serving this community from the time of supporting what was then Culver Hospital, and through the years of securing playground equipment for the grade schools, to this day of helping back pack backpacks and unloading the trucks for the Youth Service Bureau's Nourish Program. So I wanted to invite Kathy to be here today. Um, I had a chance to look back at the program for the 85th anniversary of the club in 2006. 